In this chapter, we are going to talk about that how you can create pivot tables in Excel. Before I start, I want to talk some key points on the pivot table. So the objective of creating the pivot table is to summarize the data in few minutes. And for the dashboard and reporting purpose, you can use the pivot tables. In order to find the relations within the data, you can find the pivot tables. And to understand the insights of the data or how your data is trending, you can understand with pivot tables. For example, if you want to know the total revenue by services and you have different kind of services over the different months, you can get it just in few seconds from your data. You can also categorize uh, your expenses and you can see the view that what are the expenses. You can also plot that on the charts. You can also just get the monthly sales and profit just within few seconds with your data. And uh, the benefits are that it is very simple, it is very fast and it is very flexible. So you can just work with the interactive tables. You just need to drag and drop the column headers and you easily create the pivot tables. And it is accurate. You can easily format it and you can create very fantastic filters and you can play with that within a few seconds. So that is how pivot table is going to help you. My name is Kapil, I'm your Excel tutor and I'm going to teach you various aspects of Excel in easy way. I'm going to explain different kind of Excel features on my this YouTube channel. So I request you to please subscribe my YouTube channel and I can ensure that your Excel journey is with me it will be fantastic. So let's get started. So first we are going to understand that what is the difference between a common table and the pivot table so common table is just a data layout where you can enter your data where you can keep your data and maintain your data okay but in pivot table you just see the summary okay so you can see on my window this is the pivot table format and on the right side you can see these are the fields from where i drag and drop all the things and i create interactive dashboard or interactive data piece you can say or you can say interactive summary so let's get into the practical example now what we are seeing we are currently observing our data on my screen so this is one of the courier company data as per the country wise and as per the sales rep now you can see that I have like eight, eight, nine rows and I have different sales rep. I have different countries. I have different shipping companies, shipping costs, sales volume, total cost. And uh, I do have warehouses as well. So if I want to see the summary for all this data, how I can do that? I can create a pivot table and you will be seeing in next couple of minutes will create summary of this pivot. Table. But before that, I want to tell you that there are some precautions you need to take care of. You should be take care that there should not be any blank column middle of this data. Okay, so suppose if something is like this, it should not be here. Otherwise, the entire data summary you can't represent with the pivot table. And if you have any data, okay, so suppose if I have this column and uh, if I don't have the column header, so I will not be able to create the pivot table because it is showing me the blank. Okay. So what I need to do, I need to give the name like order method. So there is a similar concept for the row. So there should not be any blank row in middle of the data. If you have any blank row middle of the data, again, there will be a problem. Now, second precaution, there should not be any subtotal or grand total in your data. It should be linear and it should look like this and it should always be in a vertical method. Okay. Because pivot table is by default taking your all the headers as the report headers okay so that is how it's gonna work so let's start so what you need to do you need to go to the insert and here you can click on the pivot table once you do that you can see that this is hard coded range okay so why i'm telling this because if you insert a new data in this table then what will happen that it will not consider the new data point as it is limiting the data till 889 row only so your pivot table might not be accurate so what i would suggest let's create a common table so what you need to do, you need to convert your data into the table. How you can do that? You can go to home and here format as table from here. You can select any format so you can create a table. Okay, so let me use this and my table has headers. So you can see on the top I have headers. I click OK and uh, now here you go. So on the top you will be seeing the table design. 
you can work with this feature and if you want to learn more about table design you can just go to my other youtube video and where you can find all the things related to the table design okay so let's create the pivot table from this data now it is converted into the table and uh, if you insert any new data let me insert a new data here so now it has expanded the row till 890 automatically so that is the benefit of creating the pivot table with the help of tables then it can work really fast so let's go to the insert here you need to click pivot tables and now let me explain these options so you need to select a table or range so you can see table 2 table 2 is uh, the name of this table and if you want to change the table name you can just select this table and go to table design and here you can just change the name like tbl and this is uh, like sales data so let me put it like this so it helps me to identify it on a later stage so let me go back to insert create pivot tables and here i can see tbl sales once i see this that is done or if you want to use some external data so, so suppose if you want to connect your excel sheet to different excel sheet and you want to create pivot table you can do that you can use this option okay so this is the advanced method and here you can uh, see that where i want to create the pivot table so a new worksheet or existing worksheet so if you want to create the pivot table on the existing worksheet on this tab itself you can just select existing worksheet and in the location you need to give the location else you can select new worksheet and then you can click ok again this add this data to the data model is again a advanced method so if you want to learn more about pivot tables advanced pivot tables advanced pivot charts you can just go to my website and can subscribe the course i have given the link in the below description you can check that out so let me go back so here you can see tbl says a new worksheet and i click ok so i can see this is created and i can change the name to pivot table right click on this then change it to pivot table and now i have this let me go back to data so let me explain one more method so you go to insert here you can see recommended pivot tables so this is a pre-packaged pivot tables which gets created automatically within excel by looking at your data and it could be helpful so you can just click on any of the pivot table if it works for you on the right side you can see the view like sum of shipping cost by country so you can see these are the countries and these are the shipping cost so you can just click on this and just insert that so you can insert pivot table like this also the shortcut method to create the pivot table is to press alt then n and then v and here you can see the window okay and uh, if you are using the prior version of excel you can press alt d and p and you can create the pivot table so let me go back to this pivot table and here let me because i want to see the summary by country wise and i want to see the sales volume and total cost so i just click on the check boxes and i can see the things okay so let me explain these pivot table fields first pivot table fields are basically that you can customize your pivot table with this uh, window and uh, what you need to do you need to understand these four things filters columns rows values so if you want to place some kind of filter you can use filter and you, what you need to do you just need to uh, select the column header and drag it to the right side and once you do that on the top you will be seeing the filters and uh, you can play with these filters okay it's so like suppose if i want to see the sales only for debit i can click debit and i can click okay and if i want to see the multiple filters i click on this select multiple items and then i can select multiple sales rep and for those sales rep only i can see the view you can do this filter for anything and you can see that uh, filter is activated here okay so that is how you can play with the filter and let me clear this filter let me clean this all okay so that is how you can clean the filter so let's understand the column what you need to do you just drag it to the left side so that there should not be anything in the columns and on the top what i want i want to know the shipping company and now i want to see the sales volume by shipping company now i just need to drag it to this uh, value and in the columns you can see that i have created three columns and this is in the summarized manner so i can see this summarized sales volume by country wise so that is how you can use the columns now if you want to talk about the rows so rows is basically that what you want to show in your rows so you can see australia china india japan so i want to show this on this uh, 
on the rows so that is why i put country in rows okay now suppose if you want to like switch the columns and row how you can do that you just uh, drag the shipping company here and put the country in the columns so on the top you can see in the columns the country and here you can see the the shipping companies and in the values whatever values you want to show you can use values so if you want to show total cost as well you can just click here and you can see the total cost so on the here you can see that in australia this is the sales volume this is the total cost let me drag it to the left side and you can see the summary here so that is how you can play with your pivot table now you can see that it is showing me the sum of sales volume okay on the top i can see these headers now suppose if i want to show the different calculation like average or maximum sales in the country or in any of the shipping company how i can do that i can just go to the summarize value by and here i can select max okay so this is the maximum sales made by the shipping company in a particular country and on the top you can see the max of sales volume and once you right click on this uh, you go to summarize value and you can see the average you can click on average uh, this is the average sales made in each country by the shipping company and if you want to see the count you can click on the count and uh, you can see the 84 times fedex has made the sales in australia so that is how you can assume your data and you can play with your pivot tables now on the right side you can see the pivot table field so if suppose if you do not like this uh, layout you can just change the layout from here you can just select uh, field section and area section stacked so on the bottom side you can see the uh, section and uh, on the top you can see all the column headers so that is how you can play with the pivot table fields so let me undo this okay now i can see this now suppose if i want to show the country and shipping company in uh, the rows itself i don't want to show it on the top what i can do i can just uh, drop the country in the rows so first i want to show the shipping company then country now i can see this now in the same column i am seeing the shipping company and the country and now if i want to change it to the different column how i can do that i can go to the design and here i can just select report layout and i can click on show in tabular form so that i always prefer to use a tabular format because it works very perfectly and it gives you the clear picture so here you can see the country name and the shipping company in a column and uh, suppose if you want to show the labels you can see that it has summarized the data but it is not showing me the labels okay so how I, you can do that you can just uh, go here and can click on this repeat all item labels once you click this you can see that all the item labels has been repeated if you want to remove it you just click on this do not repeat item label so that is how you can work with the report layout if you want to show the subtotals or uh, if you want to hide the subtotals or grand total how you can do that you just go here do not show subtotals all the subtotals will be disappeared and grand totals you can opt for rows and columns and at bottom you can see that it has switched off and if you want to show it back you can just go back and on for this pivot table so that is how you can work with this you can also use the formatting uh, pivot table style so suppose if you are not liking this format you can just go here and you can use any format which you like okay so that is how you can work with this now we are going to talk about that how you can format the numbers or any data so you just right click here go to the number format and from here you can just change the format and if you want to show like in currency you can just go here and just select the dollar sign and just click ok you can see it has changed ok so you can change the number formatting from here on the top you can see the filter now suppose if you want to show the filter in a slicer mode and you are not liking the filter like this uh, because you want to give an interface to your user that how he can interact with your pivot table with the filters so what you can do you just remove this filter and click insert a slicer okay once you click on insert a slicer you go here and here you will be seeing all the filters so suppose if I, you want to show the filters by sales rep you click on the sales rep or the warehouse and you click okay once you do that you can see the slicer has been created and you can filter it from here and the numbers are changed so let me remove this and let me insert the slicer by sales rep so that i can see multiple options and i click ok now you can see that it has created the multiple option now if you want to show the slicer in two columns you can just go here and change it to two columns and you can see all the sales rep okay now you just uh, make it small just go to the top side and then brian david kelvin 
and you can just play with these filters smartly and it can give you the interactive dashboard look you can remove the filters from the top and if you want to change the layout of this slicer you can just go here and you can uh, select the format which you like to use for your pivot table and if you want to remove these grid lines just go on the top remove the grid lines okay now it looks good now suppose if you want to create uh, multiple pivot tables uh, with different purpose how you can do that you just copy the pivot table and paste it on the right side okay you need to make sure that uh, you are not going to expand your last pivot table so suppose if you are going to add some more columns uh, in this pivot table then this pivot table will be erased okay there will be an error and uh, it will be erased so what i would suggest uh, whenever you create the pivot table you need to make sure that uh, you are not going to insert any new thing in the previous pivot table okay so let me use the auto width and now i can see the pivot table is created when i'm clicking on this pivot table here I can see the pivot table field. When I click here, I can see the pivot table fields again. Okay. But these pivot tables are different. So on the top, you can go to pivot table analyze. You can see pivot table two. Okay. So this is the pivot table two. This is pivot table four. So that is how you can identify your pivot table. And now if you want to change the summary, like I don't want to show the shipping company. I just want to show the countries. I can just do it like this. I remove the shipping company from here and I can show the pivot table like this so that people can view the summary by shipping company by country. So let me remove the country from here. So now you can see that uh, my pivot table field is disappeared. And uh, if you want to show the pivot table field, just go on the top, click on this field list and the pivot table field list will come again or else you can right click because this is the key of the pivot table. You can play around with these options. So you can click on hide field list. You can right click and you can show show field list. Let me show the field list and uh, let me remove the country from this. So on the left side, I can see the summary by shipping company and let me remove this. And uh, on this, I can see the summary by country wise. Now, suppose if I have the sales rep filter and I want to apply a filter on both the power tables at the same time, how I can do that? I need to go to the pivot table and on this pivot table analyze because you know that this uh, slicer is linked to the first pivot table and if you want to link this uh, slicer to the second pivot table how you can do that you just select the pivot table go to pivot table analyze and here you can see the filter connections in the filter connection whatever slicer you have uh, you will be seeing all the options here and you just need to tick that box and click OK and automatically that uh, slicer will get connected to the second pivot table as well. So you can connect one slicer to multiple pivot tables. So that is how you can use this feature. Now I'm going to tell you very basic and important part of the pivot table. So suppose whenever your data gets refreshed, you need to refresh your pivot table as well because it does not get refreshed automatically. In order to do that, whenever you insert a new data, so suppose if I'm inserting a new data, let me insert something new. Okay, let me change this name. So I inserted a new data at the bottom and now you can see that it is not updated. My name is not displaying here. Okay, so what I need to do, I need to right click on this pivot table and then click on refresh. Okay, once you do that, you can see my name got added here and in this you can refresh the pivot table from here also or if you want to refresh only one pivot table you can click refresh okay if you want to refresh all you just go here refresh all that's it so that is how you can work with the pivot tables hope you like this video if you want to understand some advanced feature of the pivot table you can just go to my website where you can enroll for the course and i'm sure that you are gonna learn lots of advanced feature of the pivot table with the practice paper thank you